good morning dear students welcome to the english class and in this class of video today we are going to complete the rest of the lesson that is she conquered the everest and this lesson is very motivational and also very inspirational as we have already studied the first lesson from the 10th class first unit from the 10th class that is attitude is altitude so from the lesson we learn many things okay here so we need to understand one thing that uh, so despite of any problems so we should not lose our uh, heart so we should not be dis in despair that is what should we learn from the lesson uh, attitude is attitude in the same way we need to learn the same thing again from the lesson she conquered the everest so which is adapted by the dr b saujin right and yesterday we discussed uh, some points about the lesson and where arunima sinha was born and uh, how far it is from lucknow to ambedkar nagar ambedkar nagar was a small uh, district in uttar pradesh which is uh, 200 km away from the uh, city uh, lucknow the capital city of uttar pradesh is lucknow and and how she met with an accident how she was thrown uh, out of the stay out of the moving train by the thugs by the uh, anti social elements and you know and they wanted to snatch the a gold chain which was gifted by her mother here arunima sinha doesn't want to lose uh, a gold chain which was gifted by her mother so that uh, she fought with them very bravely and finally so they throw uh, arunima sinha out of the moving stage a moving strike and she felt on she fell on other stage other railway track and where 49 trains uh, passed over her left leg and that is what happened and she felt and you know the next morning a few uh, uh, passengers a few uh, men identified her body uh, her injured body on the track and she was uh, taken into the hospital very soon but she was uh, before she she is about to take it, take into the hospital and she faced many problems so many rumors were leveled against arunima sinha and uh, she faced many bureau, uh, bureaucratic problems over uh, when uh, moving from the uh, railway track to the uh, hospital so that is how she felt uh, absolutely and we already studied the background so what kind of person arunima uh, sinha was and she was a, a cyclist a football player and also she has been a national volleyball player for many years and here and another important thing we need to discuss here is that uh, she felt absolutely uh, uh, a badly unemployed uh, unemployment she need to get a, a right job but even though she was a sports star she doesn't want to find her profession in the field of uh, sport so that she just wanted to find her brother in law suggested her to uh, find out a job in paramilitary in indian army but she doesn't want to step into the indian army and, uh, and another important thing is that she applied for the central industrial security post in 2011 and she got a letter and finally when she went there for an interview she faced a problem that there was a uh, error in her birth, birth certificate so that in order to correct uh, the technical error which is in the certificate uh, she started her journey to uh, uh, delhi so uh, to correct her certificate error and she took the padmavati express where all this incident had happened so when uh, she uh, boarded the padmavati express uh, she felt absolutely uncomfortable with some anti social elements over there and finally she fought with them and then they throwed uh arunima sinha out of the moving train and how she got injured so now let us talk about after that after she went to the hospital what had happened there let us think see when she went to the hospital and where the hospital was out of the anesthesia and you know her left leg was completely fractured and even her leg, uh, right leg bones were all the bones of the right leg were also got fractured and uh, she had uh, uh, many injuries all over the body and many injuries all over the body she felt absolutely alone in the hospital and uh, uh, during the uh, she stayed in a hospital 
many rumors were spread because the media uh, pick out this news and the news of uh, Arunima Simha spread uh, very quickly among the Uttar Pradesh people so that uh, the news become very sensational and at the same time as there was no anesthesia her leg uh, her, uh, her left leg was amputated her left leg was sawed up while she was fully conscious and this is one of the uh, most important thing but this is one of the most vulnerable thing that she faced you know while while she was fully conscious while she was fully conscious her left leg was uh, shot up cut off because there was no anesthesia in the hospital where she joined and that was a problem that she faced over there and another important thing is that uh, there was a rod inserted uh, in her right leg from ankle to knee so uh, to join all the shattered bones in the right leg and i know we can think that her left leg left leg was completely sawed off or cut off whereas when it comes to the her right leg her right leg is completely fractured so that there was a rod inserted from a knee to ankle in her right leg to hold all the shattered bones so that is how she felt and you know as we already discussed that her news and news of arunima simha become very sensational and so that here the government officers all the government officers of uttar pradesh they just wanted to sell off their save their skin in the sense they just wanted to protect from self from the contradictors from the uh, blames of from the people so that they try to create some rumors over arunima simha here they created a rumor uh, absolutely you know, a worst rumor that uh, she had committed a suicide so that was the first rumor that the government officials created in order to escape from this incident and another rumor is that and uh, it was a very a silly rumor that created that uh, she had traveled in the train without a ticket so but here the a rumor was cleared up very soon because the cctv footage shown that uh, she had bought a ticket from the railway station so that is how she faced many problems uh, and there were nobody to support her during her stay in the hospital but at the same time the education minister the education minister of uttar pradesh uh, moved her to aims hospital immediately and she was uh, moved to the aims hospital and so that she could get a uh, uh, correct treatment and in it, you know she needs a uh, complete treatment very immediately because she got fractured and her body is full of uh, many uh, major fractures fractures so that uh, she was moved to the hospital by uh, education minister and where she could get uh, a complete uh, rest and where she get get uh, complete treatment but uh, you know Uh, she felt absolutely as we discussed that she felt absolutely uh, isolated she felt absolutely alone and she thought up uh, so what would happen and you know and finally she understood uh, how powerful the power of the mind over the body is she understood the power of the mind over the body and she doesn't care of all the physical problems in spite of having all the physical problems uh, but she is very strong enough uh, uh psychologically at she just want and she thought that uh, uh, she would find a time she thought that uh, she would find a day definitely that day will uh, uh that day will all the problems will be solved and that day she will be answered for all the problems that is what arunima sinha thought when she was in a hospital and another important thing is that to uh, see here and here finally there was a rod inserted uh, in her left, right leg from knee to ankle and here so she decided herself she just wanted to do something she just wanted to do something great so that uh, she set a, a wonderful goal she set a high goal so in this uh, circumstance in this under this circumstance the goal that she had selected is uh, absolutely wonderful and we can say that it is a impossible goal the impossible goal is that she just wanted to she decided that uh, she wanted to climb the mount everest to put uh, an end to the all the persons to put an end to the all the problems in her life so you know how arunima chimpa changed her mind 
towards a great target. So what is the great target? She had decided here to climb the Mount Everest. So do we think climbing a Mount Everest is a very easy thing? No, it is absolutely, absolutely very difficult thing. But here, think of Arunima Simha. There, there is no leg. There is no left leg. And her right leg was completely fractured and there was a rod inserted in her right leg. But even though, despite of all these difficulties, despite of all these disabilities, she thought of climbing the Mount Everest. Now you can imagine how powerful, uh, how strong enough to think or to climb the Mount Everest is. Here see, another important thing is that here, so we already discussed that she, she is very strong minded person. Though she had many problems physically and psychologically, but she understood the power of the uh, mind over the body so that she decided to climb the Mount Everest. So here, the next, uh, immediately after, so it is very hard for anybody uh, to climb the Mount Everest. So they need, if you wanted to uh, climb the Mount Everest, you definitely need uh, years of training, years of practicing or at least months of practicing. But here in the case of Arunima Simha, so as soon as uh, she just out of the hospital, she strides towards the Bachendri Paul. So you know, who is the Bachendri Paul here? Bachendri Paul was the first Indian woman who climbed the Mount Everest. And so that immediately after, after her discharge from the hospital, Arunima Simha directly went towards the Bachendri Paul. And she met a Bachendri Paul and she explained the strong desire or a burning desire. What, what is the burning de desire of Arunima Simha here? To climb the Mount Everest. To climb the Mount Everest is the burning desire, a strong passion. So a strong passion of Arunima Simha is to climb the Mount Everest. So that it is a burning desire of Arunima Simha. So that Arunima Simha explained, expressed her feelings of climbing mountains to the uh, Bachindri Paul, the first woman who climbed the mountains. Here, Bachindri Paul encouraged a lot. Effort from the Arunima Simha's family, Bachindri Paul is the one and only person who encouraged Arunima Simha in her achieving a goal. So that here, and she also uh, applauded, she also felt very happy of what Arunima Simha's decision is. And she told Arunima Simha that uh, it was a great decision under these circumstances. But here she already, uh, she told her that uh, you have already conquered, you have already climbed your inner interest, inner Everest. See, inner Everest in the sense, uh, she conquered her mind. So that uh, it is only the mountain who can easily climb. So that is how Bachendri Paul encouraged Arunima Simha. So the first Indian woman. Okay, so these are the things. And now let us continue other part of the lesson. Uh, see, here see, let me recall all the points. Let me recall all the points. The limb was uh, sawed up, that means her left, uh, left leg was amputated or cut off. And there was no anesthesia, that means the, the hospital was out of anesthesia. And uh, so she becomes senselessness. That means uh, the news of Harunima Simha become very sensational because the media uh, pick out her news. And the news has been spread all over the Uttar Pradesh. And she was moved to Ames Hospital by uh, Education Minister. Uh, where she could get a, a complete treatment, a right treatment or best treatment. And there were rumors spread off. There were rumors spread off against the Arunima Simha because the government officials wanted to save themselves from this incident so that they created some sort of rumors that Arunima Simha committed a suicide. And another important thing is that, and a very bad rumor that a, a rumor that she had traveled without ticket. And this is also another rumor that she had traveled without ticket. And when we discussed this point, a rod was inserted in her right leg. Even her right leg also got fractured. And there were many fractures in her right leg. 
and she decided to climb the mount everest and she understood the power of the power of the mind over the body and later she met after completion of her discharge after she discharged from the hospital she directly went to ask the bachendri for the first indian woman who climbed the mount everest to take some sort of advice to take some sort of guidelines from her so that bachendri pal was also very uh, very happy after hearing after hearing this incident and she encouraged arunima simha very well now uh, after completion of her discharge from the hospital she directly went to the bachendri pal and uh, where bachendri pal gave her uh, her suggestions and also she encouraged very lot and coming to the uh, she joined in a uh, nehru institute of mountaineering a special school the best school in asia and she had a basic course arunima sinha had a basic course at nehru institute of mountaineering and the nehru institute of mountaineering is one of the best schools of mountaineering in asia okay and now so our tata industry is also provided her a kind of scholarship to encourage arunima sinha and so this is how arunima sinha uh, was encouraged by the uh, nehru institute of mountaineering at the same time tata steel uh, tata industries also. and here and she worked very hard and she took her training nearly for 18 months so what sort of training she had taken is very earnest so she trained herself very seriously for 18 months and during her training during her training mountaineering and she started climbing small mountains so but very dangerous mountains she started climbing very small mountains not uh, very uh, high mountains but the mountains are very low but very very dangerous mountains she tried and she tried climbing uh, tall mountains and the same uh, dangerous mountains crc and here to climb a mount everest is not an ordinary thing so it is uh, difficult for any a uh, person who is uh, well equipped with all uh, physical uh, uh, strength so who is very strong enough to climb the mountain is also very difficult for such kind of people to climb the mountains but here you think you in the case of uh, arunima simha so what would happen to arunima simha arunima simha had no left leg she has no left leg and what happened to her right leg so there was a fracture there were many fractures in her right leg and what how her right leg was treated and there was a, a iron rod inserted her right leg from uh, knee to ankle so that is how and she uh, suffered that is how she got some injuries do we think is it possible for harunima simha to climb the mount everest despite of having having all these difficulties but here let us see and now so it is a time to climb the mount everest so there is a summit what is the summit here 3500 meters summit 3500 uh, meters summit so this summit is also a very notorious very famous uh, as a death zone so most of the uh, people most of the mountaineers who started climbing mount everest are caused death so at at the zone that is uh, 3000 feet of uh, 500 feet so. and it is as a uh, death zone so that now it is uh, a set target so now arunima sinha has to cross arunima sinha has to climb uh, reach the summit what is summit here 3500 feet summit it is a death zone here and another important thing is that uh, so she started climbing she started climbing the mount everest to reach the summit to a death zone while she was climbing the mount everest she found many dead bodies lying around and she felt uh, some sort of fear at the same time but again she regained her confidence uh, she controlled herself and she consoled herself and uh, so towards uh, directing towards her goal so that is what is the goal here 3500 meters feet that is a uh, summit and so that uh, heading towards her goal she started climbing the mount everest but unfortunately here there was a shortage 
there was a shortage of oxygen in her oxygen cylinder and the oxygen is about to run out the oxygen is going to die the oxygen is going to complete but here at the same time noticing that there is no uh, sufficient oxygen in her oxygen cylinder her serpa warned her it is not better to climb the mount everest anymore as you have no sufficient oxygen in your oxygen cylinder the sil oxygen in the cylinder is going to run up so the two but she doesn't care of her serpa's warning here serpa in the sense of a person who assist a person who provides assistance for the mountaineers so even her serpa warned arunima sinha but she doesn't care of his warning and she started climbing mount everest to reach the 3500 meters feet so it is also famously it is also notoriously called as the death zone and finally she reached there finally she reached 305 3500 meters a feet and here so here the very thing is that on 21st may on 21st may 2013 on 31st uh, 31st may 2013 arunima sinha reached the summit reached the summit of 3500 feet meet and when after reaching the after reaching the her summit to 3500 meters where she erected indian flag over the peak of the mountain and also she uh, she uh, showed she just opened she placed some pictures of our uh, great uh, saint swami vivekananda at the feet of mount everest so that is how she conquered the mount everest so here she learned many things by conquering the mount everest so she felt very happy and you know so she knows that she is going to die as there is no sufficient oxygen in her oxygen cylinder so that he when she doesn't want to feel any sort of fear of dying so that she started taking some videos on uh, mount everest and you know the oxygen is going to die but uh, even though there is no oxygen and she is about to die she knows that she is about to die but she doesn't care of her death so that uh, she just wanted to take some pictures and videos over the peak of the mount everest but you know uh, by the time so the oxygen was completed in the oxygen cylinder and she felt absolutely uncomfortable and she felt suffocating of oxygen so luckily there was an extra cylinder immediately her uh, serpa latched her oxygen cylinder and she started feeling better so that is how even she doesn't care of her death before her achievement before her target before her goal so she here Uh, she thought that her goal is more important than her death her life so that is how arunima simha conquered the mount everest on 21st may 2013 and she uh, uh, erected the indian flag and also placed uh, the great saint and one who shows the greatness of india to the world parliament none other than swami vivekananda and swami vivekananda's pictures were also placed on the mount everest peak of the mount everest so that is how uh, arunima simha is really a pride of an indian and you know so here finally from this lesson what do we learn so we learn the one thing that we learn a uh, great thing is hard work hard work never fails hard work never fails and you should have a, a team spirit and leadership qualities and you should have a resilience and should have a perseverance so all these qualities made arunima simha successful in her life so that everybody as you are the young student it is better to get some sort of motivation from arunima simha because she is a person who normally have all the uh, organs properly and succeeded in spite of having all the difficulties in spite of having all disabilities she conquered the mount everest and uh, succeeded in her life so this is the lesson all about and finally so there was a beautiful there is a beautiful statement that uh, you see you should feel always that what you achieve in what you achieve in your life is not a matter so you may achieve many things it is not a matter in your life 
But what's the matter is here is how these achievements makes you a better person. That is very very important. You are ex- you are succeeded something. You have achieved something. So what you have achieved, what you get succeeded a success is not right. It is not a matter. But how this success, how this achievement to make you a better person is a matter. So that is how students you should learn some sort of lesson you should learn some sort of uh, a great qualities uh, from the life of arunima simha so this is all about arunima simha's life so if you like this video please subscribe to our channel arkemia thank you all of you for watching